If you are looking for a way to lock your apps on your Samsung phone without downloading any third party apps, you are in the right place. Today, I'll show you how to use Samsung's built-in features to lock your apps and keep your data secure. So let's get started. The easiest way to lock apps on your Samsung phone is by using the secure folder. It's a built-in feature that lets you create a private, encrypted space on your phone where you can store your apps, photos, and files. Let me show you how to set it up. First, open your settings app. Look for the security and privacy option and tap on it. Then tap on more security settings and then select secure folder. If this is your first time using secure folder, tap continue and sign in with your Samsung account. Secure folder will now create a secure vault on your phone, which might take a few seconds. Now, you need to set up a log for your secure folder. This is how you will keep your hidden apps and files safe. You have a few options to choose from. You can use a pin, password, pattern, or even your fingerprint or face recognition. Just make sure you remember your log because you'll need it to get into your secure folder and access your locked apps. You can also set up a way to reset your log using your Samsung account, just in case you ever forget your pin or pattern. Now that secure folder is all set up, Let's add some apps to it. Tap on the plus button. You'll see a list of all the apps on your phone. Choose the ones you want to lock. For this example, I'm going to add WhatsApp. Tap on it and then tap add. Great, WhatsApp now appears inside the secure folder. You'll find the secure folder icon in your app drawer. To access your locked apps, just open the secure folder. Unlock it with your pin, password or biometrics. Now just tap on the app you want to use. Now, here's something important to keep in mind. When you add WhatsApp to secure folder, it actually creates a separate copy. If I open the original WhatsApp from the app drawer, you can see it still opens without asking for a pin or password. To make sure you are always using the protected WhatsApp, we need to uninstall the original app. But before you do that, make sure to back up your data. Open the original WhatsApp. Tap three dots, go to settings, then chats, and then chat backup. Make sure you are logged into your Google account. If you want to save your videos too, you can enable this option. Now tap backup. It will save all your chats, photos, videos, and other important stuff to your Google Drive. Once the backup is done, you can go ahead and uninstall the original WhatsApp. Don't worry, you won't lose any of your chats or media because we just backed them up. Now, open WhatsApp inside the secure folder. Log back into your WhatsApp account. Add your Google account when prompted. It will ask you to restore from a backup. Choose the Google Drive backup you just made and all your chats and media will be right there in the secure version of the WhatsApp. Perfect. Now the original WhatsApp is gone and your chats are safe and sound inside secure folder. You can repeat these steps to lock any other app you want like your gallery, banking apps, dating apps or anything. Guys, you can also customize the secure folder to make it even more secure and sneaky. Open secure folder and tap the three dots. Go to settings. You can turn on auto lock secure folder to lock it every time you leave the app for added security. You can also hide the secure folder icon from your app drawer. To do so, tap the three dots menu again. Select customize. From here, Change the name and icon to something less noticeable, like renaming it to paint and matching the icon. Now, even if someone is looking at your phone, they won't even know secure folder exists. So, that's how you lock apps on your Samsung phone without any third-party apps.